All right, so what's going on? I'm gonna show y'all how to clean uh, rust stains, lime, water, hard water stains, whatever they call it. Whatever you wanna call it, I'm gonna show you how to clean that out of a toilet. So the first thing you need is something, some type of toilet cleaner that says rust, lime scale, hard water stains, anything saying lime and rust removal, that's what you need. I got a little cheap dollar store bottle right here. All right. First thing you need to do is make sure that you flush the toilet and get all the water out of the bowl. Now you take it, go put your remover in there, stain remover, put it all around, get a good amount. Let it sit for a bit. And while you're at it, you can get your brush, kind of play with it. You want to agitate it as much as possible. Also, you know you got the right stuff if you smell that. Uh, they always got like a uh, like a peppermint smell to it. You can smell that, so that's when you know you're using the right kind of uh, cleaning stuff. <laughs> so. Now we want to let that sit for maybe about a minute or two. And then once it sits, you pretty much go back and use the brush again to clean it good, flush it down. If you see anything else, just repeat the cycle until it's over and it's pretty much it. You can put some also in the uh, in the tank there in the back. And then what I like to do is I'll take some of these chloride bleach tabs right here and put those in when I'm done too. That'll help keep those stains from coming back. Because if you do this process, uh, eventually the stains will come back after maybe a week or so so but if you put these in there that'll help them keep keep the stains away even longer so uh, I'm gonna flush this out now see what we're looking at so we still got a little bit there so I'm just gonna repeat the cycle use the head of this bottle to get up under the brim. That's why it's made the way it is, so you can get up under there. Throw a little bit in there just for shits and giggles. And you can actually see it rinsing the stuff right off the head anyway from inside the bowl, just from touching it. Last time I did this, I actually had to go through this whole thing in order to get everything going just for one toilet. So be prepared for that. Luckily, this bottle was only two, uh, one dollar anyway. So with these tablets, you don't want to touch them directly. I have them gloves, and when I let it out. I'm just gonna push it out, but we gotta flush that water down in the tank before we drop this in. And they say to always put it on the right side of the tank. I don't know the reason for that, but I'm just gonna do it because they told me to do it. So. Comes usually comes in a two pack. All you need is one to sit in there to get the job done. As you can see inside my toilet bowl here, all of my lime and rust is pretty much gone. I'm going to do another one because I see a little bit of crumb at the bottom, but I'm going to do it just to make sure that everything is gone. So, bottom line, toilet is clean. All you need is something that says lime and, 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 uh, lime and rust removal. 
This will probably take me just a little, maybe a two minutes more longer simply because I'm using a dollar store brand, but this is all you need. Thanks for watching. Don't bother me, I'm working.